If you're thinking about upgrading your old lead acid batteries in your RV and you want to go lithium, well, take another step and go from 12 to 48 volts. This Ruxu 48 volt lithium ion rack mount battery is what we've chosen and it could be perfect for your RV too. Hey, welcome back to Ontario Lakeside. So today I want to talk about batteries. If you have an RV or an off-grid cabin like we do, you probably have a small solar setup. And today I want to talk about why it should be a 48 volt system. We've been off-grid at the cabin now for over 10 years and that system up there is 48 volts, which is pretty normal for a residential. But most RVs are 12 volts and we want to go with a 48 volt system. So we've decided to go with the Ruxu rack mount 48 volt battery. The future is going to be 48 volts for vehicles. And if you don't believe me, you can ask Elon Musk. The new Cybertruck systems are all 48 volts. Everything that would normally be 12 volts in that truck is going to be 48. So you're going to see a lot more vehicle manufacturers switching over. And there are many, many good reasons for doing so. When it comes to efficiency, 48 beats 12 volts hands down. The current loss for, at 48 volts over long wire runs is significantly less, allowing you to have a smaller wire size, which means lighter weight and less cost. The wide variety of components available at 48 volts is also a clear advantage. 48 volts has long been a standard in residential and it's becoming the standard in vehicles. So manufacturers make more variety at 48 volts and usually of a higher quality. Here's another fun fact, 48 volt batteries are going to have a longer lifespan than a comparable 12 volt. They suffer less from Prukert's effect, which is a degradation in longevity when you are outputting high amperages over time. If I've convinced you to think more about a 48 volt system for your setup, I want to introduce you to the battery we chose for ours. The Ruxu rack mount battery has a lot of amazing features that we're taking advantage of in our setup. Some of the things we like about it is it's a very robust case, really rugged, has 100 amp hours at 48 volts, which is equivalent to over 400 amp hours at 12 volts. It has uh, a lot of safety features, including high and low temperature cutoff. So we've had the battery installed in our solar setup for a few weeks, and I've been giving it a good test. I want to go over some of the things in the manual as well as some of the things we've found out. So I've been doing some testing and keeping notes and what I have figured out is our small compact RV refrigerator which consumes about uh, 200 watts could run for as much as 19 to 25 hours on the battery with the inverter loss. Our induction cooktop which is 1800 watts could run for about 4 hours and our window air conditioner, which is around 600 watts, could run for about three and a half hours. That's with no solar input, that's strictly off the battery. So as far as price is concerned, I think that this battery is an amazing value. Uh, currently on the Canadian website, it's listed for $12.99 and $11.99 on the US website. You get a lot of battery for that amount of money. Some really great things about this battery is its form factor. It's very compact. It fits in a rack mount and it's only uh, two units tall, 17 and 3 eighths by 18 inches. So it really can fit well into uh, a spare, possibly where your batteries are located now in your RV or into a spare cabinet. There's lots of options because it's a good compact unit. Let's have a look at the front panel of the unit and see what's going on there. So we have the grab handles, which are very handy for hauling this around. And we do love the fact that it's so sturdy and feels really well put together. Uh, you've got a grounding port, as well as your positive terminals here. This is the dry connect port, uh, your reset button, your MS port, your link in and out, which is uh, communication between batteries if you have more than one battery. Next are your dip switches, which are used to set up uh, various programming modes, including uh, which inverter you're using and whether you're using multiple batteries. You have your run and your alarm LEDs, as well as your state of charge LEDs that show the actual state of charge of the battery. Next you have your power switch, which has a nice clear rubber cover, and then your negative terminals. Okay, let's have a look at the manual. Uh, it's got lots of great information in it. It's well laid out. 
Lots of good safety warnings and information about how to install the battery. And here we can see the uh, data sheet about the battery. Charge voltage is 56 volts. Float voltage is 54.6. And low voltage cutoff is 48.8. Or sorry, 44.8. Its usable energy is 4.92 kilowatt hours. That's fantastic. And here's some more information about the size of the battery and various uh, parameters such as the max discharge current is 100 amps. This also uh, this chart shows you the LED indicators and their various uh, messages that they can relay to you depending on the state of the battery. The battery does come with the data cable as well as the grounding cable. And here it is uh, installed in a rack that Ruxu also can provide. So if you wanted to do a large installation in your home or off-grid cabin, this could be a really great way to go. Maybe a bit more than you need for an RV. Of course, you could have a very large RV. Again, this manual is super useful, lots of good information, and it comes with the battery. The battery comes with these really awesome connectors, which are locking and really make it simple and safe to connect to the battery. So here's a look at some of the components we're using in our system. We're using a Victron uh, MPPT charge controller. It's uh, 150 volts and 35 amps. And we've got the Bluetooth dongle. And we've got about a thousand watts of solar panels on our roof. We're also using a Victron inverter. And inside here we have our AC and DC fuses breakers and as well as our 48 to 12 volt um, buck converter. Thanks to the compact size of the Ruxu battery, the whole system fits underneath one of our benches in our dinette. So overall I would say that our experience with the Ruxu battery has been excellent so far. It was really easy to install and it's been performing just as we expect. If you want to know more about the technicality of the internal builds, uh, Will Prowse has a really great video on his channel where he tears down and looks at the inside of the battery. So there's some good info there. Ruxu also has local warehouses in Canada, United States, Germany and Australia. So that makes uh, shipping a lot easier. And they're coming out with some new products soon, a uh, 14.3 volt battery as well as high voltage batteries. So check out their website for that. All the links you need are in the description below and we'll see you next time on Ontario Lakeside.